Hi guys, so you here from Blender Bros and in this video I'll show you how to connect two intersecting bevels, keep the shading and run a bevel through it. Let's go. So let me show you what I mean. I'm going to grab a cube and perform two cuts with box cutter. One is going to be going through the cube uh, from um, here from the side. Oh, come on, box cutter. There we go. And the other one's going to be going from the top. So, you know, here, right? Uh, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to select these two edges here and control B them to create a bevel, right? Like that. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other shape. Okay, so here. And you're going to have two intersecting bevels on these meshes. So if I apply this, you clearly see that uh, these two bevels are going to overlap. And because the distance between the bevel segments is uneven and kind of messed up, you get this ugly, you know, kind of a jaggedy shading. Um, so before we do anything, let's just grab this shape and we're going to apply two... Um, two uh, loop, loops here uh, and then we're gonna apply probably another um, three maybe three here in the middle and maybe one here on the top and one here in the bottom and this should do maybe one here in the middle as well okay now this is gonna be projected onto the mesh the same we can actually do here with the other cutter so we could run um, you know a loop here in the middle right and uh, one here outside just uh, just for fun okay so shift 2 let's apply this now so uh, before we actually apply this let's mirror this so i'm gonna mirror this to the left and to the bottom so it's actually you know even of all sides i'm gonna smart apply this and now we can actually see what's happening so you see the shading problems come from these areas okay from these connections here and the fact that the distance here is uneven between these segments now what we need to do here before we connect these edges we need to secure the shading of uh, this uh, shape here inside because these edges here they support the shading of this curvature of this bevel right so what we need to do we need to run a sort of like a supporting loop around here now, there are many ways of doing this um, but we're going to do this manually so I'm simply going to grab a knife and I'm going to, you know, run a cut here with a knife all the way up to here, okay? Now this one could be moved a little bit slightly, so GG and move it a little bit in here, you know, GG and move it a little bit in here like that. And this one uh, we're going to sort in a, minute, in, in a second. Here we can have another connecting line, uh, so it's going to be something to hold the shading here. And these ones we're gonna have to you know work with. So these two connect with shift one. Now if you don't know how to use machine tools, I have two videos on machine tools, so go ahead and watch it. But basically what you need to enable in machine tools to do that is SmartVert. If you would like to learn more about add-on workflow, especially hard ups and box cutter, I highly recommend our free course, sci-fi terminal design in Blender, which will teach you a lot about hard ups, box cutter, and how to work with hard surfaces and add on in Blender. It's a free course, link in the video description. Okay, now this one is a bit tricky, but we're gonna combine it anyway. Uh, these ones two together, you know, shift one, and shift one here, shift one here, and this one is fine. Now, um, to fix the, the distance between all these points, select them always, control, right click, and go to loop tools. And if you don't see that menu, go here to Preferences, Enable Loop Tools in Blender. Right click and go to Relax and then Shift R to repeat the operation. And then we get spaced accordingly to how these are spaced here outside, okay? And you're going to get something like this, which looks much more clean. Now you can run bevel through it. Press 1 and, you know, it cannot be too big, but you can run a bevel through it. Add some weighted normals and you got yourself clean shading. This one should probably be run up to here somewhere and maybe connected here just for the sake of it. Now these um, were pulled down because we didn't have any supporting edge really close to this shape here. But what we can do is we can move them a little bit to the top. Okay, so you see these verts here, um, they're a little bit flat. So what we can do is go here in GZ and move it up a little bit, you know, GZ and move it up a bit and you're gonna you know recreate this kind of arch here manually and then mirror to both sides and boom 
you got yourself clean bevel uh, with you know minimal shading distortions which are technically microscopic there's gonna be here and there some problems but you can always mitigate them by introducing more loops like this okay you know this one could be for example a little bit lower so gg move it lower and combine it here and remove this rubbish okay and it's gonna look a little bit better um, you could combine these two as well here. It's gonna be a pole here in the middle, but you know, this is barely visible So like I said, topology doesn't matter as long as the shading holds unless you plan to run You know Sub D on that mesh. Okay, and if you don't generally the topology is you know, it really doesn't matter What you're gonna do with your topology? Okay, you can have end guns you can have anything you want So here you go guys clean shading. That's how you solve you know, this kind of a conundrum with intersecting bevels. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.